watching First News at 4 on KBTX. The Lone Star State has a lot to offer with natural resources and natural beauty. And today I'm here with the chapter president of the Texas Master Naturalist Brazos Valley chapter. Dwight, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. We wanted to start off for people who don't know. Can you tell us more about your chapter and what you guys do here in our community? So our program is run through Texas Parks and Wildlife and the Texas AgriLife Extension Service. And we are trained volunteers to help manage and conserve natural resources and natural areas in the state of Texas. When we talk about your mission of the chapter right here in our area, can you tell us more about that? So we help out with uh, habitat restoration and management in some of our local parks and state parks. We help, uh, we do assist various research programs. We do citizen science programs. Uh, we do a lot of different programs here in the Brazos Valley as well as a lot of educational outreach programs uh, at various locations, the Brazos Valley Museum, things with A&M, things at Lick Creek Park. So we do a lot of different activities around the community. Well, speaking of those activities and getting involved, you have an upcoming fall 2023 training class. Tell us more about that. So that starts uh, this fall, September the 5th, I believe, Tuesday. Uh, it's a two-week program. It's a 40-hour program to train the individuals. We also have four Saturday field trips. Uh, we cover the ecology, the ecoregions of Texas, uh, and then the basic biology of fishes, birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians, um, covered plants and soils and geology, that sort of thing. And it, uh, then you're asked to give back 40 hours of uh, community service the following year, as well as eight hours of advanced training to become a certified Texas Master Naturalist. You mentioned a little bit about what it takes to get involved. If people are interested in getting involved and becoming part of the program, what do they need to do? They can go to our, uh, our website um, and it has information. Um, we will, we're finalizing the, the course schedule right now. So the applications will be available online in just a couple of weeks. And uh, if they have questions, they can contact us. We have monthly speakers, uh, usually at the uh, AgriLife Extension office. And so they're welcome to come to those and sit in on those talks, uh, learn more about the program and come visit with us during those meetings. You mentioned some of the things that you guys are going to be doing throughout this program, as well as the training course. What makes this program so special to our community? Uh, it's geared towards our, our local ecoregions. We're uh, the post-oak savanna, and so we're concentrating on the plants and animals of our ecoregion and uh, trying to conserve those uh, resources for future generations. And we, uh, it's just a fun program. You get to meet a lot of really great people, do a lot of fun activities, outdoor activities uh, throughout our local ecosystems. And then we do some where we go further away throughout the state. Well, we will have more information about applications as well as about the program on our website. But Dwight, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you.